the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. There was a labor for there was a labor shortage that was needed to build this great nation. Yeah. Okay. The whole slide up there after the whole time because I just I wanted to show our facial expression, but I'm like, uh, well, I put the wrong thing up there. Sorry, did I did didn't I? <laughs> I'm so excited. I put the wrong stuff up there. I'm coming back off. Let me put it back up here. <laughs> he said the conscious consciousness. Woo, golly. God got he got his own agenda. You you come on all kind of slide, but he got all his own agenda. You said it, it was a it was a it was a verse two. Verse two. Go ahead and read it. It says verse but two. having renounced the getting things of dishonesty. Dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness, <laughs> nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Oh, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. So it is, it is the consciousness of man yes. that is deceitful, yes. that is crafty and dishonest. But when it's, it is exposed to the glory of God through Yeshua, by the gospel, yes. then that consciousness can be restored to its original form and state, which is the the, the state of man when he was in the garden, mm. Adam, mm. Mm. or to the consciousness of Yeshua. Yes, sir. Or even Cain, right? Because because yeah. he because Cain is like, oh, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. And God says, "Could I ask?" He no, because he, he, he lied, didn't he? He sat yeah. there and and said, "Am I do I am I my brother's keeper?" Because God asked him a question, didn't he? He, yeah, he him. answered his question with a question. <laughs> Deceitfulness. <laughs> Dece that was a lie, was it? A deceit? Because the question was very clear, wasn't it? Yeah. Where is that brother? Am I my brother's keeper? Now, I didn't ask you that, did I? I, I didn't ask you. Oh, I, you. You ain't gotta be his brother keeper, father, I know. But where is he? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. That's the truth I want to look for, right? Where is thy brother? In the field where I left him is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> or covered above who knows what he did with him. Yeah. But, but you're right. You see, he answered it with a He repackaged the information and what we're trying to say man that we need to read that next time in in our study because that's what's going on we're talking about the, 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 the dishonesty yeah the craftiness wow man well, let me put that I'm, back up uh, I'm, I'm i'm out of time here you I'm are too okay yeah the, the, that's, okay hey, get look. This. This, surf, but this was this was enlightening. <laughs> enlightening. Uh, it's amazing, you know, that when mm. you truly mm. seek to the the wisdom and the understanding of God, how the 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 Holy Spirit, which mm. is the Spirit of Truth, reveals truth. Mm. And, that is uh, deep, and it's like you said. We 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 come to these this setting here, and you know these these spirit. I mean the the the, the scriptures, <laughs> they just open themselves up to to uh, allow the Holy Spirit to give you the revelation that that is needed in such a time as this. You know, I'm pretty sure that. There's been times when other people have gone over these scriptures and the spirit of truth has revealed uh, 
the 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 wisdom that was needed at that particular time. At that time, yeah, yeah. That particular yeah. setting, but in this, this time, in this setting, in this fullness of time, mm. the Spirit is is revealing the truth that God wants us to 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 know to handle this world system at this particular time. To, to to walk in a victorious uh, walk, to to withstand the obstacles in the journey that we have, in the race that we are taking upon, so that we can finish. You know, it, it, it is so in, in Paris that we we really really get the truth mm. out. Truth the out. Truth. <coughs> I think actually, that's what. And it's and, and 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 I'd rather say we get the truth in. <laughs> Into because somebody, if, yeah. it's, if it's if it's if it's in, in you, here, yeah, then then that's when that scripture is talking about the consciousness is changed. He did say that, didn't he? Yep, yep. The conscious in the sight of God. Wow, you know, like I said, heart shine is in our hearts. Those yeah. you know, those key scriptures and stuff, and showing the lies and the lie. You know, because like I said, sometimes you take light and you think in physical light. You have to be spiritually discerning to understand the difference between what they're talking about. Yeah. You know, so yeah, you have to have some kind of foundation. Yes, you know that's that's rooted in the Word of God. Exactly, and then it just grows from there. You exactly, know, you, you 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 have to. Have you have to be born in this to grow mm -hmm. in. Amen. All right. Well, let's let you get ready to go. I'm I'm yep. a, I'm gonna wrap it up myself on some okay. things, and um, I'll see you next week. But deep, this is Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. Stay blessed. Two. All right, saints. That, that I mean, that that's deep. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna put the I, I, I edit this tape to put the slides up and the the whole point is that uh, we people are turned off because of the fruit that they see from ministries and we're talking about even no matter how we want to repackage and reword things and I think that's what the whole purpose of banning books and all that other stuff is just to to repackage and making the image more important than the truth and and you know i just thought of something real quick and check this out when they said the image of the beast i'm talking about revelation are they really talking about the deception, the propaganda, the 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 lie, the the narrative is is the image. With with some of the image, you know, I'm like the image of the beast. It's the image of the beast, the lie, or whatever image or narrative that the uh, lies that's supposed to be you know thought of you know like when we say this is a great nation and, and I love this nation but this nation also has some shortfalls don't it it has some some bad history doesn't it it has some concept even today don't it in other words we, we want to make people you know when we said you say exceptional we want that because that's what we want to be able to to portray we're exceptional people, but do but it's it's a the, and I think that's a, a great goal to be, and in a great stance to have. But you don't forget that it's our actions and our deeds that people are going to look at as well. In other words, you can say one thing, you know, like somebody can say, "I can sit this. I got a blue shirt on. I got a blue shirt on." But in reality, I got a red shirt on. But I want to sit there and say, don't, don't trust your lying eyes. I wear blue. Blue is all I want to wear. You know what I'm saying? We're caught up in lies. 
and thank you that we can hide truth with our words because we're not hiding the truth with our deeds because the tree is known by its fruit if you care about people it should show if you are a believer in Christ <laughs> it should show because the Bible said a tree is known by its fruit not by just your words and, and 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 that's not to make you feel bad that's to just make you make us all look at ourselves and look at our conscience and sit there and say am i who i say i am and why am i lying about who i am and i'm talking about not by ignorance but by <laughs> by truthfully being dishonest and saying i'm something else that's what the Bible was saying to say, that a tree is known by its fruit. The Bible said all of sin and come short of the glory of God, meaning that you 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 are a sinner. The Bible say if you sin and 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 you if you say you have not sinned, then you're a liar. Uh and 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 I'll I'll put that scripture up there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll put that in there so that you can see that the Bible say he who said he was not he who said he has not sinned is a liar and the truth is not in him so what do we want to do in our life do we want to put our life based on who we are and being honest and open about it and then being honest and open that some of what we say we are needs to be corrected because i think that's really key because some people say that's who i am but that that means that you need to make corrections right you understand that who you are is 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 not acceptable in the eyes of God. If you're angry, if you're evil, if you want to sit there and hurt people and put people down, then then it doesn't matter whether you are uh, doing the right thing or not. What matters is that you do your words to line up with your actions, and if you're actions need to be corrected to line up with the word then you need to change your actions so it can line up with your words because if you want your words to be noble if you want your words to be pure if you want your words to be of the good then you need to change your actions to line up with your narrative does that make sense so I don't have a problem with you having a narrative that said that you are a, a righteous and just and pure person. I don't care if you want to sit there and say, well, if I, if I say I'm black or if I say I'm white, but, you, but if the definition needs, my action need to line up with the definition. Does that make sense? <laughs> if, the, if, 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 if white means pure, then I need to have those who call themselves white to let their action line up with their words that they claim to be. That's all I'm trying to say. And then don't put a narrative and call me black and then you want me to line up with the narrative of the color opposed to the fact is despite the fact that my color if you want to call it black it's brown look at me you can see and there's a lot of people that are brown just like there's a lot of people that are not white but they they, they you know the pink color or salmon color or something like that but there are some people that are actually pale face looking no kidding white uh right so so i guess we're taking the, the extreme color to to define a whole ethnic group of people but so let's say let's say that they, when they say black i can see why somebody was sitting called criminal right if you sit there and say the definition of darkness right or blackness is to you we say i want to call you that because i want you to line up with that title does that make sense? You you want to say black means darkness or evil or you know what I mean? So therefore that, that those people are criminals because that lines up with the words I want to give them. And I see why African Americans change their names because you it's the definition.
So the definition is, is what we're really talking about is defining and, and, and making people conform to definitions of what other people want them to be. So yes, when we sit there and say we normally don't, we, we change it to, to African American opposed to black, it's because of the definitions that people try to paint on people just based you know pay you sometimes you do it based on or what country they came from sometimes you do it based on um what you feel is is uh um what you feel you want to treat these how you want to treat these people you give them you define them and you use whatever negative connotations they have so that you can do bad things to them. And I'm telling you, Sam, you, you, a tree is known by its fruit. And a tree is known by its fruit means you got to watch what you're doing. Because regardless of, you need to understand, this is something for everybody. Regardless of whether you're black or white. <laughs> whatever a person may be, a tree is known by its fruit. Got that? That also applies to you. If you want to say people are, you know, I've seen some of the negative terms of people um, dealing with, with with what they want to place on blacks uh, as look at this criminals, uh, lazy, um, thieves, and uh, robbers, or something like that, and 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 you you're using those type of to justify your actions toward the person. And you need to understand, if you are what you say you are, but then you sit there and use bad behavior, then that means that you're not what, you, 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 you leave, you depart from what you, what you want to say you are. By the time you, once you start doing evil things to people, you're evil. That's not, that's not, that's because that's the tree is not about fruit. It's not based on what you say. It's not based on what you think you're supposed to be or how you define yourself. Your actions define who you are. And I don't care who you think, no, in fact, I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't matter who you are. It's your actions that tells me who you are. Not what you say you are. This doesn't make a difference with you, me, anybody, any of us. Our actions define us. And many times you see people go in, um, what go for the court system and say, this, that's not me, but that is you. At that time anyway, at that moment, what you did is you. And that's why we need to sit there and continue to evaluate ourselves so that we don't do and define ourselves by our actions or by our words, but make our words and our actions equal one another. And stop trying to give a definition on somebody else. Because you don't you don't have authority. Because the Bible said, God says, said, let us make man in our image. That's what the Bible says. Let us make man. This is Genesis 1, 26 to 28. God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. See, cardinal thinking, fleshy mind thinking, you sitting there trying to say what a person physically look like. And so therefore you think God physically look like you? No, you don't. And he doesn't look that you and, and the thing about it is you know what physically look like you? A Hispanic? A black? A white? Uh, a, a Jew? <laughs> an Italian, a European, guess what? They all look alike. And you can say, well, they don't all look like they got different colors. That's the whole point. All of us have that diversity of colors and skin. But I guarantee you, one white person doesn't look like another white person. And I hope you don't think all white people look the same, all black people look the same, all white people are tall, or white people are short. You see what I'm saying? So you don't sit there and, and try to say God's image, because then you're gonna say, if, if God, if, if if it's a physical image, what physical, physical image you, you want it to be? Tall, short, fat, old, young? What? If you want to sit there and say, 
God is made in our, if we're made in the image of God, but that image looks like our external bodies. And we got so many diverse sizes, you know that can't be the flesh. You know that can't be this body. It must be our spirit. But we sit there and try to make definitions of one another. And then we try to make people fit those definitions. Like when you don't want to say, you know, I think the word, the N word means ignorant people, right? Or ignorant black person or something like that, right? The N word, right? And then guess what you did? The only somebody, I can't say you personally, but that system back then, it was illegal. It was illegal to teach a slave how to read. Illegal. So therefore, when therefore when you say that person is ignorant, well, they never, they never had no formal education. They they, they you even got an amnesia where they came from. You did nothing to to improve them. So when you so when you said they said they're ignorant, then then then, then you you continue to make it that way. You don't sit there and say, let me teach them, let me educate them. You sit there and say, no, I don't want it. I want to do everything to keep them from being educated so I can keep my narrative. You see what I'm saying? That's the stupidity of it. That's the tragedy of it. And and that's why you, you raise your children and many, I'm talking about, it doesn't matter what group you are, you raise your children to, to say somebody is this way. And know you're lying because not every individual is like that. But you lie to do it because you think it's important. Because you have to, you want people to fit an image. You want people to fit a culture. Well, guess what? Color skin doesn't make your culture. It's your actions that make your culture. <laughs> you, you, see what I'm, you see what I'm coming from? It's your actions that make your culture. And that's what it's important for us to do. And remember, it's your actions that makes a difference. It's your actions that cause us, cause you, cause me to call you who you are. And for you to call me who I am. It's an action. Look at that. I put down here some definitions uh, that I pull out of the uh, uh, Google it, right? I Google it. And, and talk about definitions here. Uh, so just just remember that these are just definitions. But I'm going to tell you, a tree is known by his fruit, meaning by his action. But here's the, here's the definition. What is the connection between black and negativity? Negative association. However, many use the color black to symbolize all things negative. Wow, this is even all things, right? So you raise your children. Some I'm saying to everybody. Some of you raise your children and, and and associate all negative things with a group of people based on the color of skin. I got a red shirt on. You got is there, is there, does that make a difference? It doesn't, does it? So therefore, why my skin color? How does my skin color make a difference? Doesn't it? Because I could use you can use my blood. I can use your blood. I can you can. I have eyes, you got eyes, I got mouth, you got mouth. And in and, and the human race, all of us are 99% the same. So the color, skin, or complexion does not make us different. We're all, most, we're all the same, 99.9% .9 the same. It says right here, however, many use the color black to symbolize all things negative. Throughout history, this sober color has been tied to death and all things evil and bad. It invokes strong feelings of anger, aggression, fear, and sadness. The connection between black and negativity is probably most clearly seen in our language, talking about in the, in the Western culture. What is black? Black is a radicalized classification of people, usually a political, political and skin color based category for Pacific populations with a mid to dark brown complexion. Not all people considered black have dark skin. Get a clue. In certain countries, often in uh, socially based systems of racial classifications in the Western world, the term black is used to describe 
persons who are perceived as dark-skinned compared to other populations. Let's keep going on the definitions. The color is black associated with a number of positive qualities and characteristic. Hey, I want to make sure because just like we could come up and your parents or, or people tell them black or white, try to give people negative uh, images and then do everything to make that become true. That's what trips me out. Uh, for example, some common associated with the color black is associated include I like these terms, see, I rather fit these, right? <laughs> Authority, elegance, formality, intelligence, power, prestige. Now, that's the, those, those definitions I want to fit me. Uh, Cause why, why? Cause they're positive. I think that's for anybody else as well, right? The positive color white is associated with cleanliness, bridal, innocence, virginity, health care, purity, goodness, and peace. Negative associations, uh, cold, dull, bland, impersonal, uninspiring, and sterile are the association with the word white. White is a radicalized classification, a racial classification of people in a skin color specified generally used for people of European ancestry. Although the definition can vary depending on context, nationality, and point of view. So just just that those are the definitions and and, and I wanted to 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 recognize those, all right? All right, so that's those are def different definitions dealing with how society looks at people based on the color. Uh, and you see like what White is talking about, purity and so forth. What, what I will say to you, and, I, and I'll get off of these slides, I'm just saying these are definitions. What I'll say to you is, line up with your definition. If you say that you are um, good and, and, and exceptional and everything else, I'm talking about whatever group, line up with it, that's all, that's what I'm saying. Because if you sit there and become hateful, mean, murderous, uh, racist, meaning hateful toward people, uh, do everything you can to discriminate and put people down, uh, that's who you are. Those are, it, it, it doesn't matter about the, the title, it's who you are. Your actions is what I'm trying to say, makes who you are. And that's what I want to make sure we're going to close out with, is Christ died for the ungodly. And every last one of us fit that definition. And and when you come into Christ, then you receive the righteousness of God. That's We'll all agree with that. But if your actions don't line up with that, then you don't, you're not righteous. You can't be evil and righteous. You're either going to be righteous or you're going to be evil. You're going to be good or you're going to be bad. So you, so you know, you can't sit there and think that just because I call myself a Christian, but I act like a devil, that people are gonna see me as a Christian. You know what they see you as? As a devil. And that's what we want to sit there and remember. This week, this week coming up, the week that the the the, the celebration of Resurrection Sunday is the fact that Christ died for the ungodly. He died a brutal death. And we honor in him. And guess what? You dishonor him when you do bad things, when you do the same thing to somebody else, to another fellow human being who God created in his image, who Christ died for. He said, the scripture said, Christ died for that godly. So let's line up with this word. Let's let's honor what Christ did. He gave us a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. As I love you, that you also love one another. Hmm? 35 said, men will know you my disciples for the love that you show for one another. If you can't show love for one another, and don't, even, don't forget the fact that the great commandment said the same thing. 
love the Lord that God with all the heart, with all that soul, all the mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbor as thyself. This book is about love. It's not about crusades, Spanish Inquisition, slave trade, to treat people a certain way in slavery, the Jim Crow laws, any any unrighteous laws. We want us, we want everything to be associated to who we are. Not what people want to make us be, man. God bless you. I hope you have a great week. Um, and uh, we'll see you for Resurrection Sunday. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.